Hey YouTube, it's iPhoneCaptain.com. Boy, it's been a while since I've been looking at this side of you. But we're going to be back. It won't be long. I'm trying to get my hands on a better camera. So just bear with me for, for just this video because we had some some big news last night while, you know, some of us were in the bed. But needless to say, I'm getting it out there to you now. I told you I would. There was a jailbreak release for iOS 10.1.1 last night, about 10, 10.30. Uh, Tedesco, Luca Tedesco released his beta version, or referring to it as. And uh, just a little bit later, he updated it to version 2. So now there's a 2 out as far as I know. There may be more than that. If they've updated it since then, be sure and leave it in the comments below, guys, so I know what's going on. Or come over, tweet me, Facebook me, leave a comment on my site, do something so I can get the news out. Either way, the jailbreak released, but I'm not recommending you do it. It's beta for developers only. Uh, why did they do this? I think they do this so uh, the developers who are getting tweaks ready for iOS 10 can go ahead and start that and make sure that their tweak is functioning properly with iOS 10 jailbreak. Uh, or older tweaks can be updated to the iOS 10 version. Uh, there's lots of reasons that they do this, but don't think guys, oh, I know how to jailbreak. I've been jailbreaking for blah, blah, blah years and I can do this. This does not install Cydia on your device, okay? There is no functioning mobile substrate. Mobile substrate is the best friend you have when you jailbreak. Whether or not you know that, without mobile substrate, you could not remove old tweaks on your device. I'm, I shouldn't say old tweaks, I should say bad tweaks. Something that may cause you to have to, your your, your uh, device to start re going into a reload, restart, or whatever. Also, if you try this and you're on 1011 and you fuck your phone up, guess what? You're going to 10 too. Now, when that happens, most likely you won't get an iOS 10 jailbreak because personally, I don't really look for them to release an iOS 10.2 jailbreak. I don't know that, but I just know how things have worked in the past. You need to do everything you can to preserve this firmware version you have. Now, if you have your blobs, which I put a post out for that, if you didn't save your blobs, then you screwed up again. But anyway, if you have those, maybe you'll be able to downgrade in the past, but right now, we don't have that tool. You know, uh, that developer was going to release one called Prometheus, I think it was called. All that's coming. Just hold on. It will be there. Guys, hold on a few days longer. I got a feeling. Uh, we've already heard that Cydia, or uh, Sarek, which owns Cydia, has been working with Tedesco on this jailbreak to get him to get Cydia working properly on this. So I don't think we're going to see a, a big long time frame here. We have to wait. Just hold on. Stay close to the social media here at iPhone Captain. I promise you I will update you with a tutorial on how to jailbreak your phone the very instant it comes out. I'll get out of bed and do it for you. That's how much I think about you. Hit that subscribe button, share this on Facebook and Twitter, guys. And like I said, keep coming back.